On May 6, 2019, in accordance to a new forum post that was published earlier this week, Sky Clash will no longer be offered on the Hypixel network. In addition to the new game menu that we received uh, with the compass, we also received information that if there was any experience points or achievement points that we want to get from Sky Clash, we had about a week to do so. Now, just to kind of put that amount of time in perspective, I decided to make this recording like that day that the forum post was created, and I'm recording this on Wednesday and uploading this on Thursday. So. Already almost half that time has gone away, and you know, the weekend's really gonna be the last chance that we're gonna have in order to play Sky Clash before it is officially removed from the Hypixel server, which is kind of kind of sad to think about. Also, why did this guy live? But I mean, before we go into like Sky Clash going away and why it's going away, what, what really is Sky Clash? Let's think about it. So Sky Clash was created maybe a couple years back, and it was basically this kind of Frankenstein of a bunch of other games, if I had to honestly call it something. It had a little bit of aspects of Sky Wars, which is what it was made mainly focused on, but it also had a bunch of the features of Hypixel UHC, the Blitz Survival games, um, I would even go as far as to, uh, to add maybe like some Bed Wars ideas. It took a lot of like these Hypixel central ideas and kind of made it into this one game that a lot of Hypixel veterans actually really enjoyed, especially all the references to the Hypixel server and all the Hypixel memes that have come and gone over the years. But I think that this exclusiveness also explains why the game is so dead in the first place. I mean, think about a game of Sky Clash. In order to be playing Sky Clash and kind of be a pro at it, you kind of have to know the other kits that people are using, which there's many kits and they range from levels from one to max and prestige. And there's also perks that other people can have, such as like strength effects and mob effects, health effects and stuff like that. And let's not even get into the chest loot. The chest loot has got to be the one, one of the most confusing things about Sky Clash that I ever saw when I started playing it. All this complexity really means that it's more frustrating for a newer player to pick up than a lot of the other more popular games on the Hypixel network. When you play a game of Sky Wars, you just have a game of Sky Wars. There's not really a whole, whole lot like beyond that. You go into a game, it's pretty simple, get loot from chests, and try and win the game because you're trying to fight everyone else. It's a PvP FFA, so don't die and, you know, try and win the game. But in Sky Clash, there's a bunch of other things that people can do so that they have advantages over other people. There's items, which are special. There's kits, which are very effective, and they synergize with other kits' armor and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that you have to think about. It's like playing Mega Walls and something like that. But imagine having to play Mega Walls with, like, other rules that come with UHC, special items and stuff like that, perks that, you know, can be completely custom customized between kits, there's just a lot of stuff to think about. And this is kind of an important thing to consider with Sky Clash because we can compare Sky Clash to a lot of the other games that are not super popular in the Hypixel network, like Warlords, Vampire Z, Quakecraft, and stuff like that. These games are all like pretty complicated in terms of their game mode, even though they might seem simple like at, from the beginning. And that just kind of makes them really frustrating to learn. I just threw out my sword, I'm an idiot. But I mean, that's the thing about Sky Clash, right? It's just more complicated because it seems simple. It seems like it's Sky Wars, but it's just way more wildly complicated. Now, a veteran Hypixel player will ask, well, why is it that Sky Clash has to be deleted and Quakecraft, Vampire Z, and a lot of the other classic games are not being deleted? Why can't we just move Sky Clash to the classic games and call it a day? Well, it's just not that simple. Here's the thing, Sky Clash takes up a lot of data on the server because of just how like big of a game it is. There's a lot of perks and kits. I think they added like a new GUI with Sky Clash to the Hypixel server and like all these new images that they could upload onto servers, which was pretty revolutionary at the time, but it didn't make Sky Clash blow up and they just kind of used that for their other games. So Sky Clash was kind of like a pioneer in that sense. But I mean, the fact is just that, you know, it just didn't grow as wildly as a lot of the other games did. And I think the only reason why people would ever play Sky Clash would just be for questing because there wasn't there that much point beyond it. It wasn't that there were a whole lot of people like a large Sky Clash community that was active on the Hypixel network. I'm not saying that there wasn't people that enjoyed the game. I'm just saying it's not as popular as a lot of the veteran Quakecraft people. As for why Sky Clash can't be moved to the Classic Games lobby, that's just not why the Classic Games lobby is there. I mean, people will argue that Turbo Car Racers is not a classic game, but here's the thing about Sky Clash. I don't think it needs to be in the classic games. Let's be honest, the classic games are dead because they're put in the classic games lobby. But putting Sky Clash in the classic games lobby is just adding insult to injury. It just doesn't really make any more sense. And when you consider the space issues that the Hypixel staff is having to consider, it kind of makes a lot more sense why they would have to delete Sky Clash instead of just, you know, putting in the classic games lobby. I don't think a whole lot of people out there that are sad that Sky Clash 
montage is going are actually sad because they love to play the game and they're sad to see one of their favorite games leave the server. I think they're sad because a game is being deleted off the Hypixel server, something that the Hypixel staff, staff promised would never happen. And it's true, the last time that a game was deleted on Hypixel server, I'm pretty sure it was when Hypixel was being created, when they had like a couple of mini games that were very simple and meant to just get the server started. But it was pretty obvious that none of these, you know, none of these game modes were gonna stay around on the Hypixel server. They're just kind of there for fun. But ever since then, games like Walls and Quakecraft and Paintball, they've all been here to stay and they haven't ever left even though their player counts have fluctuated over the years. The problem with Sky Clash is that it died faster than any other game. It there's like Quakecraft had like a large following early on because it was one of the oldest games on the server. And same thing with the walls, and you know, that's when Mega Walls was created and stuff like this. All of this you have to realize is that the Hypixel server changes over time. Now we're basically, you know, centered around Sky Wars and Bed Wars and, you know, the occasional UHC, Blitz Survival games, occasionally, maybe. Mega Walls is pretty popular as well, you'd be surprised. But the fact is that Sky Clash, compared to all these other games, died faster than any of the other ones did. So, it makes perfect sense why it's being deleted. It's just, it crashed way faster than the rest of the games did. And honestly, I'm sad. I think a lot of people are sad because they just don't want to see a game deleted. Because even though we don't play Sky Clash that heavily, it's still a part of the server and it's still a part of what we think of when we think of the Hypixel experience. But I think a lot of people just need to realize how much is Sky Clash actually influencing the future of the Hypixel server? And the answer is not really, if at all. So let's think about Sky Clash as just kind of one of those transition periods for the Hypixel server. Because, you know, we might not necessarily have played Sky Clash that much or grinded it to a super high level, but I think we should look at Sky Clash as just another one of those eras of the Hypixel server when we were looking for new games to try and looking for new games to popularize. Back when Minecraft was a lot more popular than it is right now, back when the Hypixel server had reached new max player accounts, and back when, you know, on the weekdays we could get games of Sky Clash to fill in. Currently, as of, you know, right now, the games that fill in during weekdays for Sky Clash are in the single digits. That's just abnormally low. We've never, I don't think, I think Quakecraft loads more often than, than Sky Clash. Although to be fair for Quakecraft, you can have like a maximum of eight people per game. I think it just takes six people to load in. So, you know, Quakecraft games start off a lot easier than Sky Clash games, but Sky Clash games require like 24 people. So good luck getting that to happen on a weekday. I mean, even during the weekends, I've rarely seen Sky Clash games load in, and there have been many times where I've wanted to play a game of Sky Clash just so I can get my quests and achievements done, but I just can't because there's no games loading in. If you look at the Sky Clash, you know, member count or player count, it'll be in the single digits because there's just maybe a few lone people that want to queue up and have no luck. I would have recorded this episode while playing Sky Clash, but the fact is, if we go to the Sky Clash hub right now, and we go to the queues, it's empty. It's a ghost town. There's there's no one playing. So I think we should just take a look at this and realize that all of this, all of this that's currently being used on the Hypixel server, the server that we want to see improve, the server that we want new games and new experiences that we can enjoy. Sky Clash was never really one of those amazing game modes that revolutionized Minecraft, but Sky Clash was just another transition period for the Hypixel server. And even if you may not have played Sky Clash that much, I think it's true that we should all look at Sky Clash and enjoy it for what it gave the Hypixel server. It was part of the Hypixel experience. It was part of us. It was part of who we were as a Hypixel player. Even if we didn't play Sky Clash or didn't really want to play Sky Clash in any form, some of us may not have even played a single game of Sky Clash. The fact is though that it was part of our server, and even though it's going away, it doesn't mean that it is going to be gone from our memories. Sky Clash is leaving. It sucks, but it's just another step that Hypixel is going to take into the new Hypixel future that we will hopefully enjoy with loads of new Hypixel experiences through new games that will be created, new game modes that will be added to other existing games. We may see other games be deleted because of lack of popularity, but the fact is that the Hypixel experience is rapidly changing and so we should enjoy it as the time goes by and let the moments kind of last as they do. Let me know what you think about Sky Clash, leave it in the comments down below, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully I can get uploads out, but you know, AP tests are literally next week, so I'm having a little bit of a struggle. Anyway, I will see you guys later, peace out.